Hi hey everyone, so for this DIY you'll need a pair of jeans, a paintbrush, some orange paint, yellow paint and white paint. These are all acrylics. You'll also need a 30cm ruler, a pencil, also a spray bottle, some duct tape and of course some bleach. I'm really excited to get on with this tutorial. I'm really happy with the way it turned up. Please do stick around until the end because I'll be talking about my inspiration and asking you guys some important questions. So without further ado, let's begin. To start off, I'm beginning by marking out the section of the jeans that I will be bleaching. This is very important because you have to be incredibly precise here and I'm using this bar of soap and my 30 centimeter ruler. What I'm doing, I'm using the soap to just mark out the line and make sure it's precise, even and equal. And I'm using it because it easily washes off and does not stain the jeans. I'm applying the duct tape along that line to act as a barrier so the bleach will not cross that line to make sure it's very smooth, sharp and clean cut. I folded my jeans and then put this bin liner on top of them and taped that down to ensure that the bleach doesn't get onto the rest of the jeans. I filled the spray bottle with bleach and then sprayed the denim very heavily because I wanted to really saturate the bleach and have the denim looking white by the time I'm finished. I made sure that the coverage was even and equal to ensure that the jeans didn't end up looking patchy and I left the jeans to process for around an hour and then once they had finished I washed the bleach out from the denim. Please do make sure when handling bleach you wear gloves and you're working in a safe area. Be mindful of what you're wearing and perhaps you may need to add a bin liner or something to the floor to make sure it's protected. I knew that my floor could handle all the bleach but I did make sure to clean it very thoroughly afterwards. As you can see I had a little bit of a mishap here with the bleach, somehow it did end up soaking through the tape so I would recommend maybe getting a paper towel and dabbing at it to make sure it doesn't end up soaking through. So this section, if the bleaching was successful for you, you just have to bring it down to the line where the bleaching ends. But of course I had to bring this up slightly which wasn't as desired, however I think that the finished product end up looking very nice. I marked out the line with the soap and the ruler again and added some more duct tape to act as a barrier because this is when we're going to start painting the denim itself. Make sure when you're doing this that the tape is stuck down very nicely and I'm repeating the same step however a little bit lower down and this is a panel that we will be painting yellow. However to cover up my mistake first of all I will be painting it white. I'm doing this to make sure that when I eventually paint the jeans yellow, they won't end up looking yellow and green, they're not going to be patchy and there won't be a harsh colour contrast from dark to light. I am quite a perfectionist so anyway, I'm using this white acrylic paint and this is a multi purpose cloth I'm adding underneath the jeans to catch any paint that splats and make sure I don't ruin the floor. Next I'm working in the white paint to the blue section of the denim really working it in so that I have a good opaque coverage and the colour difference isn't as visible anymore. If I had more time on my hands, in hindsight, I should have re-bleached it, however, the paintbrush to make sure it's very precise. And because, unfortunately, when the paint starts to crack with use, you do still see the darker denim underneath. Anyway, I'm now setting this and drying it with a hairdryer, however, on the cool setting because acrylic paints, when heated, become quite sticky and tacky and we don't want that, so always make sure you dry with cool air. Next, I'm removing the tape from the top section because, as you can see, it's very painty, and you'll see that nice, sharp, crisp line. We're just going to be removing that from both sides and then reapplying the tape so it's clean and fresh. Again, you need to make sure that it has stuck down well so that you don't get any paint bleeding. Very important because this is a very precise DIY. Moving on, we're now going to be mixing the colours to paint the jeans with. So I'm going for this really nice yellow tone. So I decided to mix it with some white. And this is supposed to make the colour pop and really stand out, however not as fluorescent as the original paint. I then decided that I wanted to darken it a little bit so I added just a tiny bit of this light orange paint and mixed that in as well to create this lovely yellow colour. Now all we need to do is to just paint that patch with the yellow paint. You can choose whatever colour paint you want and to make sure that there is a very good even coverage and there are no patches that have been missed or left out. 
You will need to build up the layer of paint so you have an opaque coverage and usually this might take two or three coats. What to do in between, you'll need to dry it with a hairdryer on the cool setting so that the acrylic paints don't get tacky and just keep on at it. Personally, I find that customising clubs is incredibly fun and therapeutic. It's a hobby of mine that I love to do all the time because in the end you come out with an item of clothing that's individual to you, an extension of yourself, your interests, your personality and things that you like. It's exactly what you want and you won't be able to get it in a shop or anywhere else. It's incredibly individual and not only fun to do and make but fun to wear. Once you're happy with the paint coverage, next you'll have to remove the duct tape and this is the most satisfying part when you remove the duct tape and you see that really nice sharp line between the white, the yellow and then the normal denim. This is so fun and I absolutely love how the jeans turned out. I absolutely love it. It's incredibly different, new and unique. I decided to roll up the bottom of the jeans, but anyway, I was inspired by the YouTuber James Christopher and his tutorial on bleaching clothes. I absolutely loved how the jeans looked, so I decided to recreate them, so this is where the inspiration for this video came from. His video will be linked in the description below, so please do send over some love on to him and his videos. And finally, before I finish, I just want to ask you what kind of content of mine you guys enjoy to watch the most. Because as a content creator, your opinions matter the most. And I want to not only create content that I'm proud of, happy to create and watch, but also something that you guys enjoy the most as well. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you soon. Please leave your opinions, your comments down below in the comment section. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to see more. So I'll see you soon. Bye guys.